Well, unfortunately, last time out, we missed out on promotion thanks to a poor run of results. So now with all eyes on getting this team ready for the next challenge, it all comes down to this episode. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to this Paris FC career mode. I'm Respect the Jeff and today we really get down to business. We missed out on promotion last time out officially. Six games left this season and all we gotta do is start to build for the future. Ton of cool storylines in the making right now. But I think the immediate term solution uh, we need to figure out is who's going to be part of the team next year. I think with the billionaire ownership we have, it's going to be some heavy investments coming into next season. So we're going to try to lock down who sticks with us, who's going to be given the boot at the end of the season. And as things stand, these players have six more games to show what they've got and why they deserve a spot to stick around for the future. But also coming up next season, some really exciting stuff. Modding officially became available. I've been working in the background creating all these faces it took me a ton of time so i hope you guys appreciate it also huge shout out to galactico who created the face for diakite for me uh and coming into next season we will have all of those plus a new manager face uh, but it won't come until season two so hold tight for two more episodes it is coming soon i promise as well as some incredibly exciting stuff going into that next season in the meantime please consider subscribing if you haven't already with that said let's get to the games all right, here we go. Paris FC in search of something to just give us some positive vibes here at the end of the season. It has not been exactly uh, what we expected coming in. I mean, we have very high expectations as a manager to come in and reinvigorate this squad and really make a promotion push, and we weren't able to do it. As of now, we're down in 7th, 8th, floating around just outside those spots, and it simply has not been good enough. So, like I said, we're going to use this time to just figure out what kind of project we're building here, who's going to stick around with us, and where we need to make improvements going into next season. Among those is probably uh, the goalkeeping spot, although we did already sign Luka Zidane on a pre-contract, so that's one position we do have locked down going into next season. I think most of them are up in the air outside of that. Gaetan Loris played pretty well, Ilias Husni has come in and played incredibly well, and kind of outside of the two of them, <laughs> it's been a little lackluster. And there is that man, Husni, who sets up Nam, puts it in the back of the net. Well, how about that for stepping up and making an impression? Mustafa Nam, honestly, another one of those who's been pretty solid this season. He's a really, really well-rounded central midfielder. Uh, one of the more experienced players in the squad, but not too old that he can't stick around for the foreseeable future. Um, and honestly, if he can chip in like that with some goals, <laughs> getting himself forward, I think he's a shoe in to stick around in our midfield through next season. Lovely play there, and we continue on. Augustin starting up top, trying to show us what he's got here and why he deserves some minutes over Laura. There goes Husni, great chance at goal, saved by the goalkeeper. The young Moroccan has been lighting the league up this season and honestly surprised me. <laughs> he came in as a 59 overall, but he has not been playing like it. Another challenge there, saved by the goalkeeper. Husni definitely looks up for this one. And the high press works again. Clever little back heel gets on the return. End of it in a third time. Husni has an eye for goal, that's for sure, but it didn't quite come off before halftime there. So we go into the second half. A goal up. It's been a really solid performance in the team, but we've seen us lose or draw from this position many times. We got to make sure it's better this one. Husni again slipped through by Augustin again. Saved by the keeper. Husni with a little flick looking to put it in the box. It's out of bounds eventually. He has looked really, really sharp, just missing that final touch. He's been inches from goal several occasions already this game, and we keep pushing on here. And again, it all goes through the middle there with Husni charging forwards, looking to take his man on one-on-one, -on -one, the 17-year-old cutting in the box. Oh, it's inches wide of the post. Man, he's doing everything he can this game. It hasn't quite come off for him yet, but if he keeps playing like this, he is going to find plenty of goals. Got to work on the finishing just a little bit, but considering his age, I think that's something that's pretty much a given that will improve over time. Guy Laura coming on over Augustin and scores. And again, showing why he is our number one striker up top right now. Laura has been scoring goals for fun this season, despite the struggles we've been having on and off with consistency. Uh, he is one of the more consistent forces in the team. He's always going to find goals. Uh, and with his pace and strength, he's going to create opportunities for teammates as well. 12 minutes left now. We look to be in good shape, but unfortunately, 
Game on! We do concede one here late in the game. With only a handful of minutes remaining, it gets a little nervous there at the end. Thankfully, we see it out. It's a win. It's three points. Something to start building on at least. And although we probably have a long way to go, this is definitely a good start for the team. All right, well, one game down, five remaining. We're gonna keep the ball rolling here. Mostly the same squad we saw last time, except Laura starts up top this time. All right, here we go. Another chance for some players to impress us. Among them is also Ismail Garbi, who starts on the left wing. We signed him from PSG with probably higher expectations than he's delivered on so far. That's putting a lot of pressure on him. He's still only 19, so <laughs> he's one of the uh, very young players in this squad that we're starting to build around. But uh, I do want to see him step up a little bit, maybe get some more goals and assists. He is a sharp player. I mean, he actually hasn't been bad by any stretch, but... Uh, with a good run at the end of the season here, maybe he can start to build a little bit towards next season. If he wants to be a starter and doesn't want to have us sign players over him for that spot, I think we need to see a little bit more. Uh, but it's about more than just one player, that's for sure. So the team bombing down the pitch in unison. Mustafa Nam, who's looked impressive so far, picks out Laura, who scores. It is inevitable. This guy is on fire. And honestly, I wasn't super keen on him when we started here. I kind of had in mind that we would sign a star striker or something, but the kind of goals between him and Husni, really, our two strikers up top, have been super impressive. And honestly, like I said earlier, they're our two best players so far, so I think if they keep playing like this, there's really no reason to be looking to replace either one of them. Lopez now sneaks one through for Campanini. The right back chips one in. It's lovely header at goal. My God, what a save from the goalkeeper to deny that. It was a perfect second chance set up there to double our lead and uh, put us in a little more comfortable of a position. But again, we find ourselves just the one goal separating these teams. Nam again cracks one just wide of the goal. Took a little deflection and Nam has been on fire so far. Shot trickles just wide of the post here coming up towards the second half. And we really have to be careful here as the whistle blows. We go into the second 45. Defense has looked better this episode already. We're only a game and a half in, but... Uh, only having conceded the one goal and not too many chances, it is better <laughs> than at least our first uh, handful of games in charge here when we were leaking goals for fun. Ismail Garvey, lovely play here. Ma, oh, what a goal that would have been. Paris FC moving it around brilliantly. Honestly, it kind of feels like with some of the pressure off of expectation of getting promotion, the team is just looking a little more comfortable out there. I think we still have some things to work on. Obviously, finishing needs to be improved. We're creating chances... We're just not finishing as many as we should. If it was 2-3-nothing already at this point in the game, I think we could feel a lot more comfortable. But with only 10 minutes remaining here, we have to be very, very careful. Guy Laura takes it out to the wing. And honestly, it's times like this where the team has to start playing a little smarter. With only a couple minutes remaining, there's no need to push it. We're going to work it around a bit more mature than we usually handle things, but it's enough to see the game out. Another three points. I believe it's only our first time getting two consecutive wins so far in charge, uh, which sounds a little stupid. It's not all that impressive, but like I said earlier, it's something to build off of, and on we go. All right, well, two wins from two. Can we make it three? We keep rolling on in the league uh, in search of better and better results with time. Next season, we're going to be expected to probably win automatic promotion. Uh, so it's all eyes on that, really, and carrying our form into next season. I'm going to give some new players some minutes here. Arab and Caddy start on the wings, and let's see if they can't catch our eye with some good performances. All right, well, on we roll. I actually didn't realize last game was against the first place team in the division, so the fact that we ground out a 1-0 win is actually really, really impressive, all things considered. And I think a sign that we're starting to improve a little bit, the fact that we were able to keep a clean sheet against them too, particularly impressive, especially considering our defensive troubles earlier. Maybe things are just starting to click here. We will see. Gaitan Laura played in behind. Lovely touch. Couldn't get the secondary pass off, but it's a good look there. And good link-up play again between Husni and Laura. And again, our high press working really well here. A little dink over the top. Inches in front of the striker. Not far off again. We continue to just win the ball back, though. These tactics are working brilliantly. The high press starting to finally work out for this team. And Laura looking to sneak one through. Eventually shepherded out for a goal kick. But it's been great pressure so far from Paris FC. We win it back again off the goal kick here. It's been relentless pressure. And a third time winning it back. Caddy sneaks through Laura. Clean through on goal. Oh, saved by the goalkeeper. 
We can't catch a break here, and we go into the second half. Still looking for a goal. It's been a very close affair, although with us having most of the possession and the chances, it's just a matter of us capitalizing. We've been pretty dominant in these last couple games. We're not conceding a lot on our end. We're really uh, dominating the flow of play altogether. Here we have Elias Husni charging through. Oh, just wide of the post. I was getting ready to celebrate. I thought that was in. It's a great chance. He's had a couple of those exact same runs recently. If he could just place it a little better into the bottom corner, he is going to reap the rewards. Elias Husni again through on goal. Has a shot saved by the goalkeeper. Lovely reaction save with the foot. And we continue on here, winning it back again. Nam picks out Laura, who keeps the play going. Hannon, the left back, looking to put a ball into the box. Cuts it back patiently. And it's out. Play rolls on. 20 minutes remaining here, and we still need a goal. Gaitan Laura chips it up. Not the best ball for Husni, but it falls back down regardless. Arab from distance off the post. So, so unlucky. Arab actually looked pretty decent in his minutes so far, but it's some fresh legs coming on here. Ismail Garbi among them picks out Husni, who plays it through for Lopez. The other substitute coming on. Saved again. Unreal stuff. We just can't find a goal. Eight minutes remaining here, and it all comes down to these last few. Played through for Arab, who looks to sneak it through. It's a really poor pass. Husni finds it. <laughs> there we go. We finally got our goal. It's probably the ugliest chance we created all game after all of those that probably should have been in earlier, but again, it gets the job done. We'll take whatever we can get to grind out another win here. Uh, probably a mistake flat out from Arab. That was not a good pass, but Husni again stays on it, stays tenacious, wins the ball, and it's enough to get us the win. one nothing. It's another close result. We've won by a one-goal margin in the last three games, but on the flip side of that, we've won three games in a row. Nine points from three matches. We love to see it, and on we go. Well, unfortunately, this kind of form comes too little too late in the season. Only three games left. Promotion is a long gone hope for us. <laughs> but we do like to see this building into next season. I think it's a really positive sign. Taking a look at the squad so far, Gaitan Laura far and away leading the team in goals. He's actually had a really, really solid season. Lopez scored most of those before we came in, actually. He's been kind of disappointing since we came in, to be honest. Uh, Husni obviously scored many in considering the amount of games he's played uh, and his age. It's super impressive. Diakite is one to watch out for for the future. Uh, I think the only player who I really, really want to see more from is Augustin. We signed him as competition to be a striker uh, alongside Laura, but he just hasn't lived up to it. Uh, Mustafa Nam, like I mentioned earlier, been one of the most impressive players in our career so far, so I think he's looking to be on his way to sticking around for the future. With that said, if you guys want to help shape the future of this career, feel free to join the Discord. I have the link in the description. If you want a coaching role, even check out the Patreon. It helps support the channel as I work towards, hopefully in the future, trying to do more videos and things like that. But we definitely need to build more of a following before that's po uh, possible. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you so much for all the support. Huge shout out to everyone in the Discord server. Things have been popping off recently. So many good suggestions floating around. Couldn't do this without you guys. Guys. If you want to at least just minimally support the series, <laughs> consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. It'll keep you up to date. It'll keep me rolling out new videos, and I'll be back soon with the next one. But until then, I'm Respected Jeff, and I'll see you next time.